me say from the meeting, what we have gathered is that, and from the uh, Ghana Civil Aviation and Ghana Airport, I can't foresee Magdan Aviation Industry operating commercially in the next one to two years. Wow. Yes, because as we speak now, he doesn't have the lances. It's still now going through the process to acquire the commercial lances, and it takes some time to be able to comply with the process to be able to acquire a commercial license to operate. What we're told is having now is the private just licensing, which he has been given three months to operate. And as we speak now, the three months has elapsed. So as we speak now, it doesn't have even the private just license and the authority to even operate. That is it. We saw a letter uh, which indicated that Magdan actually had satisfied all the technical and operational requirements. What they didn't have or what they fell short of was the um, financial obligations and that they were owing four point five million dollars and two hundred and twenty seven thousand. If you look at the letter if you look at the te letter technically the letter also stated some operational requirement and obligations. Okay. So it's not only the financial aspect of it. So we even ask them this same question and what they are telling us is that what he did all was to get him a private jet license, which he was given the license for three months. As we speak, the license has expired. But for commercial licensing, he doesn't have it. He's still now going through the process to acquire it. And per what we were told, uh, it would take more than a year, almost getting to two years to be able to acquire that license. It's not an easy thing. So that is why I'm saying I can't foresee him operating commercially in the next between one to two years. So uh, in this case, you've heard from the airport company. What about Magdana? Yes, I have, I have suggested to my chairman and the committee to also get the Magdan aviation industry to listen to their side as well. But something happened. If you look at that, we were fortunate as a member of the committee, uh, members of the committee, to lay our hands on some documents. On one breath, you will see the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority or the Ghana Airport Company communicating to Magdan shipping industry. On the other hand, you see some communications communicating to Magdan group of companies and <laughs> to other communications to, to Magdan aviation company. We try this are technical and legal. Which company are you dealing with? So these are all things they will have to sanitize. If you say you start on with Magdan shipping and along the line migrated to Magdan aviation, we need to see correspondence to those effects. They are here to produce those things. But the minister said he's going to sanction the Magdan industry at least for, 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 for defying their orders and what have you. So a meeting will start next week to see to that. Mm, but what did the